Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with Stock Swish, and here today reviewing Cisco. There really wasn't much to watch today to the downside, um, or the upside, actually. I mean, there was low-quality gaps today, uh, so I did watch Cisco, and actually it had a short move in it and went to the first target that just wasn't big. And I did not get out of this in this first move here in the morning, but we'll go over it. <laughs> Some people did. I had some paperwork to do today and some things at my desk, so I stayed around, but it was, you know, this, this really didn't go anywhere today, to be honest with you, where I wanted it to, but I think everybody had different results. Some people um, might still be in it. Some people got out of it with profit. Some people probably got out of it break even. Let's go over it. Stock rallied up, okay? I ended up doing it in here. Rallied up, held, okay? Fell in here, was up. So this is where some people got out. This is the first target, it was 31 bucks, okay? Then I waited, 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 and, and I waited as long as any person on the planet could. Actually, let me just move to the 15 minute. So this really looked good in here, really looked even better in here. This is into noon, okay? My price entry was 31.15, and, and then I thought it was gonna finally, finally get going right into here. This stock did not get bought today, but it didn't have enough selling. The stock sold off yesterday, gap down big, sold off this morning in the first bar here, down low was 30.38. And I really thought it could continue today, but it's not getting bought and the follow through just didn't come in the selling. So you could have either killed this break even today or made money in the morning in a quick trade. You had plenty of time to get out break even all through here. So that's exactly what I ended up doing. And this may fall into the close. We've got an hour and a half left in the day, but. I just couldn't take it anymore. So after this dropped and broke in here, this is into lunch, and it looks good, looks good, looks good, looks good, looks good. Got near 31 again. Looks good, looks good, looks good, looks good, looks good. This is all close to breaking then. So the low, the only low it got to was 3106. It was re touching and touching and touching on this number, and actually it was pushing up against the number that I had initially shorted the stock. So finally, I had had it. When it got within six cents from breaking the whole number and didn't do it, I ended up killing it break even here, right before two o'clock. So I did not lose in this trade today, but I didn't make any money either. So I gave it a long time. I mean, I gave it, I gave it hours, which is rare for me, but I didn't want to take a loss in it. When you only got less, you know, a little bit more than two hours, two hours left on the day, you know, where am I going to go with this? I just felt like I was gonna end up holding it then to make 10 cents and that just was a waste of my time. And I did get some things done here today at my computer um, and I didn't lose in it. So I could have done nothing today. So I ended up doing this and getting that break even. Although some people made money in the morning, but it really didn't move against us at all. And it's not even really now. This probably follows through tomorrow. <clears throat> I wouldn't be surprised at all if this gap's down tomorrow and it could fall into the close. An hour and so left. So that's what I did with it. Good luck everyone if you're still in it. And we'll watch it for tomorrow. If you're interested in learning more about how I rate gaps, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Have a great day, everyone.